Today I'm going to teach you how to add a jellyfish into your fantasy composition and I also have a huge surprise for you so be sure to watch the entire video to find out what it is. First of all let's drag this jellyfish photo into our design. After that let's right click and convert it to a smart object. Press Ctrl T to make it a bit smaller and place it wherever you want to be in your design and because I want to get rid of that uh, dark background I'm going to set the blending mode to screen. Now let's make it a bit smaller, press Ctrl T again and now if we look at our image we'll see that we have that uh, blue background surrounding it. Of course you can add a mask and try with the brush tool and the black color you can try to mask it out but we can do it better. So double click on the small layer and now we're gonna play here with this jellyfish. First of all, let's add a hue and saturation adjustment layer. And now we're going to click on this little icon with the hand and with this one selected, if I click once on the image, it will select that color, which in our case is this uh, blue purple color. And now if we desaturate that selection that we just made, you'll see that it will turn everything into black and now if we decrease again the lightness it will make everything even uh, darker all right and now let's add another one which it will be levels and now let's add a bit of contrast by dragging the middle slider to the right and then the left one a bit to the right and now if we save this uh, smart object by pressing ctrl and s and go back to our document we will see that we don't we no longer have that uh, bluish background around it which is amazing because now we have the jellyfish uh, without that background and it looks much better extense labs sent me this tablet to test it out and because it was a huge improvement over my old wacom we decided to create a contest and the winner will receive the same setup that i have the medium bundle pen tablet as a designer from a certain point you really need a tablet and in the past two years i have been working mostly on a small wacom tested the xp pen and also hyon and i have always returned to my wacom until now I love the quick keys device that comes with it, especially the wheel that I use a lot to zoom in and zoom out and the most of all I love the fact that it has two pens and from my short experience with it I use the thin pen a lot because it's so easy to work with and did I say that it's wireless also and you can move it around as you wish and the last but not the least the build quality, it is made of metal and it feels so so premium. So be sure to watch the entire video if you want to win this tablet as the first prize. The next thing that we will do is to duplicate this layer so press Ctrl J. Then let's go to filter, choose blur gallery and path blur. And here I'm going to play a bit with those uh, lines, those, those paths that we already have. So I'm going to drag the most important one, the first one to here to the head part and I'm going to drag it a bit like the way the pen tool works so you will have to play and decide those uh, you know uh, paths as you want to use them so i'm going to use the same uh, lines that the jellyfish had so i'm going to draw a path like the as i said it works like the pen tool and then when you decide that it's enough just use the escape and it you will have this one ready and then you can add another one uh, and of course as many as you wish and just just press escape if you found any value in this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and when you finish with the pads you can uh, play around with the settings here on the right you can move every settings that you see here uh, and you will end up with a different result depending on how you'll move the setting sliders. I'm going to keep uh, those settings and then I'm going to press OK. And now we have a really interesting uh, shape here and I'm going to uh, drag it underneath the other layer that we originally had and bring it back. I'm going to hide some parts of the original one so I'm going to add a mask and with the brush tool selected and the black color I'm going to paint on this side and I'm going to hide the parts with the tail. And now on the one that we have the pad on with the blur gallery I'm going to add another mask and mask some parts of it the way I did with uh, the previous one. 
and now on the original one i'm going to duplicate it again so press ctrl j and delete the mask we don't need it and let's go to the filters again so go to filter and here let's choose filter gallery and i'm going to select the stylize and here let's choose glowing edges and this will uh, make our edges glow as the <laughs> name of the filter says and you can play around with uh, also the settings that uh, you see here and uh, then you will end up as i said with different results and in my case i'm going to use uh, those settings to 5 and 4 and then press ok i'm going to hold alt and click on the mask and that will add an inverted mask that means everything is hidden and now if we want to bring back some parts i'm going to take the brush tool and now i'm going to switch to the white color and now if i paint with the white color on the mask i'm going to bring back some parts of that filter that we just applied and now i think uh, the jellyfish is ready for the next uh, level and I'm going to add a new layer, so layer, new layer, and here I'm going to choose color dodge and fill it with black. And now you need to paint manually the parts that you want to emphasize. So for example, in my case, I'm going to paint a bit on the sides and on the center where I want to have some white lines. So for that, I'm going to take the brush tool and if you are using the mouse, be sure to use a really really low flow around 3% and then switch to the white color and you can paint on the sides and you will need some time for it because it takes some time to emphasize those lines and that will be the most important thing that you have to do here because that will help the jellyfish to be more visible and to have that fantasy look so that's with the mouse and if you use a tablet things are more easy because you'll use the pen pressure and it's the same process. If you want to help me to keep on posting high quality videos you can become a member of this channel by pressing that join button. And at the end, if you prefer, you can add some uh, small stars or glitter on top of uh, this jellyfish. Okay, so you can add a new layer with a star brush or with a soft brush. You can uh, paint some little stars around, not too much, but uh, those will help uh, the jellyfish uh, look more into the fantasy part. Yeah, so this is how you create uh, this uh, jellyfish fantasy design. You can use uh, those techniques in creating the artwork for the contest. Speaking of the contest, those are the rules. You must create a fantasy design using the jellyfish that I have used in this tutorial. And also watch this video to see how I added the glows and the rest of the techniques that I used. If you want to participate in the contest, you must follow our Instagram accounts, which are Excess Labs, EMEA and Mr23Design. Also use the hashtag Mr23Jellyfish when you post the design on Instagram. You can use any assets that you want, any picture that you want, as long as they are free to use or you have a subscription on a website like Envato or Shutterstock or whatever, but please do not use somebody else's work without their permission or use pre-made backgrounds. You need to show all the photos or assets that you have used in creating the artwork, like you see in this example. The deadline for this contest is March 20. When you post, please write if you live in Europe or not. Xsense Labs might decide to remove your artwork if we discover that the art was stolen from somebody else. Now comes the most important part, the prizes. The first place will receive an Xsense Labs medium bundle pen tablet, exactly like the one that I showed you in this video. Also, 9 random people will receive a cool package containing a glove, a facial mask and a voucher code. But it's really important that those 9 people must live in Europe. So only the first prize, the medium pen tablet, will be sent to the winner wherever he or she lives in the world. But the 9 random glove packages will be available only to people that live in Europe. So that's why you must specify that when you post your artwork on Instagram. 
By participating in this contest, you agree that if you win anything, you have to share your address and your phone number with Xsense Labs so they can send you the prize. Check out my other videos on this channel so you can see the other contests that I have organized so far and I wish you the best of luck in winning this amazing tablet and I am sure that I will see incredible artworks from you.